my fellow vault dwellers, welcome to another Fallout 76 chainsaw video. Now in today's video I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to take down a Scorch Beast with the chainsaw. I have a friend with me who's helping me because we usually travel together on the weekends, but he's not going to be doing any damage. We're going to be kiting this guy around until we can get him to land, unless he glitches out and starts the infinite shots trick. And then when he lands, I'm going to run in and just murder him with the chainsaw. So, the trick with the Scorch Beast and trying to get them to land is when you're targeted and they're shooting, you want to try and stay in front of their arc because it can trigger them to land. That is one of the things they do as well. Just get out of it. But basically, we just try and stay in front of the arc of it so that when it lands, we can then start doing massive damage to it. My buddy could easily kill this in the air as well, but he knows that I'm trying to uh, get some content showing you guys just how good this is. So he's been helping me out. We've been taking on tougher stuff all day. And then uh, this coming week, we'll start doing Scorch Beast Queens as well, because I still need a few more things for the build before I'm ready to try that. Come on, land. Alright, so it may take us a minute to get this to land, so I'm going to go ahead and cut out here, and when he lands, I will cut back in. And we're back! The Scorch Beast has just landed, and I am now going in with my chainsaw to begin doing damage. As you can see, we are able to take him down fairly quickly. Not as quick as I would like, but not too bad either, considering he's a 65. I don't have any buffs running right now. I don't have adrenaline. I don't have nerd be or nerd rage. My adrenal isn't fully up because my health isn't all the way down into the 20s, and we still managed to kill him that quickly. So let's go look at the chainsaw I was using. And I was using a chainsaw that was doing less than 50 damage per tick. Now, if I had lower health, which I normally do, and I was running buffs, which I normally do, it would have been even more. So. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I am putting out videos twice a day for the rest of January, at the very least, for Fallout 76. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions for content, leave them in that comment box down below. I do respond to every comment that comes in. Thanks for watching, guys.